Fire and emergency calls are on the rise in the capital city. In fact, 2018 was the busiest year ever for the Hartford Fire Department. Even though the department is keeping up with response times, they're looking to reduce their call volume. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz explains how the department is tackling the growing number with technology. Good morning. Good morning. Well, just a few months ago, the department introduced more comprehensive technology firefighters are able to keep track of their fire calls using a heat map. So the darker the shading, the more number of calls they had to that area. And you can see that just a few neighborhoods are responsible for the higher call volumes. The community risk assessment tool helps the department spot where fire and EMS calls were the highest. These communities are targeted with fire prevention education. The Hartford Fire Chief Reginald Freeman says simple steps will keep your family safe and help them reduce their number of responses. Here's how. Make sure that you have working smoke alarms on every floor and outside every bedroom. Practice exit drills with your family and know where your fire exits are located. And lastly, once you get out of the home, stay out of the home. We'll be there in just a matter of time to take care of your property and your loved ones. There's also a growing trend in vehicle fires in the city. These calls tend to occur most near the interstate. Chief Freeman recommends you slow down when entering and exiting the highway so you won't be a statistic on their 2019 annual report. Another tip from the chief, and it's simple, just close your door at night. He says that this will serve as a heat and a smoke barrier in case of a fire. He says time after time they continue to see charred doors, but then the, the room behind it will be smoke-free and untouched, so that'll keep you safe. Coming up in our next half hour, I'll tell you why certain neighborhoods are more prone to fires than others. Reporting in Hartford, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.